Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Those of you who follow this channel pretty regularly will know that I am a big fan of the UK's Elite Ice Hockey League, and I've also been known to have a soft spot for collecting hockey cards too. Well, when I found out that these two worlds had indeed collided, I had to get in on the action. So, in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at these. Yes, we are going to be opening up a variety of Elite Ice Hockey League trading card packs. Now, these cards were very kindly sent to me by Blindside Trading Cards, who are the company that makes them. So, a big thank you to them for sending these my way. Blindside also made the Nottingham Panthers Series 1 cards that I made a video on this channel for some time ago. So go and check that out if you want to see what the Series 1 Panthers cards were like. We're looking at the Series 2 Panthers cards. I don't know if you can tell because the Series 2 sitting right there. I genuinely love the cards that Blindside make and they are one of, if not the only, EIHL card company around in the league. So go and check them out on Twitter at BS Trading Cards as they are known to do giveaways from time to time. They recently just did a giveaway of their signed Christmas classic cards which I thought was really cool and they make some really awesome collections. So go and check them out and tell them I sent you if you're interested. But anyway, let's open up these bad boys and see what we get, shall we? So, I want to start with the Glasgow Clan Series 1 packs. Now, for those of you who have never heard of this team, who may be watching from overseas, for example, the Glasgow Clan are a team based in Scotland and recently underwent a rebranding this past off-season with a new logo and team name, as they were originally called the Brayhead Clan. The team still plays in Brayhead, but the name was changed to Glasgow in order to become more recognisable, as more people know about Glasgow than Brayhead. So, let's see what we got, shall we? Let's start with this pack here. Now, you may notice that I've already opened up this pack, as well as the rest of the packs we're going to look at today. I'm not going to lie, I got really excited when they arrived, because I, I've known they've been coming for a while, and I had to open them up and see what we got. So, let's take a look at these, shall we? We have, to begin with, Zach Sullivan, the defenseman for the Glasgow clan, number 21, and it's looking at his 18-19 season. Sometimes what the uh, blind side trading cards do is they look at previous players that played for an EIHL team and looks at the season that they played for them. So there's a nice little historical element to the uh, cards as well, which I think is quite nice. This one's for Zach Sullivan, and if we just uh, check the other side, it's got a nice little photo of them. Their stats with the clan, I don't know if you can see them. It's probably better for me to put them further down, isn't it? Um, so we've got, he had 8 points in 16-17, 9 points in 17-18. And if you're wondering what this bit is here... It's um, it's so if you want to go and get the card signed by the player, they have a nice convenient little place to go and sign it, which I think is quite nice. Uh, number four, I assume that means that's the fourth card in the set. And there's the nice little, I don't know if you can see it very well, the nice little uh, blind side uh, logo up there. I really do like the blind side trading cards logo, I've got to admit. So, Zach Sullivan, that's the first one. We then have Craig Peacock, the forward of the Glasgow clan, number 71. Another Brit, which is quite nice. And uh, he had 23 points during 16-17 and 23 points again in 17-18. Uh, has their height, their weight, which way they shoot and the position that they play. So he can also play left winger, which is quite nice. So we have Zach Sullivan and Craig Peacock. We now move to Joel Rumpel. He's a goaltender for the Glasgow clan. A Canadian import for us. Number 12 in the collection. I believe there's 20 cards to collect, including a clan logo card, which I think is a checklist for the entire set, which I think is quite nice. Uh, he played for the Cyclones during 1617 and the Grizzlies for 1718. So he's a new player for the Glasgow clan at the start of this season. Six foot three, 86 kilograms, and he catches left. So there's uh, Joel Rumpel for you. Alex, leave it. Now, the Glasgow icon clan here, I think that means, having looked at the sets and everything, that this is a rare card. Because it's looking, as you can see here, at the 15-16 season. So this is a player that used to play with the team, but is no longer with them. And I think that's a really nice addition to some of the set, actually. Some of the better-known names or the fan favourites over the years that have played for the team. He's a forward. He played number 12. He's the 10th card in the set. He played for the Glasgow clan during 15-16 and 16-17. Had 60 points at least in either season, which is pretty impressive. So Alex Lever is there. And Matt Becker, the forward for the Glasgow clan. The 18-19 season, the Canadian... Oh, you can see the uh, logo card. I really do like this logo card, actually. That's a very nice card. Uh, 75 points in back-to-back -back years for the, uh, the Brayhead clan at the time. And the Manchester Storm. Yes, Becker moved to Manchester last season. Then he came back, didn't he? And he's a right winger, uh, 5 foot 10 inches. It's probably better if I put them more down here. But then it means I can't really shuffle through them much. So there you go. There's the stats for Matt Becker. And last but not least, we have the Glasgow logo card, which I think is a really nice card. Very nice. And yeah, as I thought, 
Card number one, on the back you have the checklist of everybody that you can pick up. Um, you've got other players like Brendan Connolly, who used to play for the Belfast Giants. Uh, Matt Becker we've got. Uh, some of the rare cards are Chris Holt, Alex Lewitt like we've got, Bruce Richardson, um, Ed, Ed McGraw. Ed McGraw, yeah, I think that's Ed McGraw, and Drew Miller, which is quite nice. So, And the clan new logo is the one right at the very top, Joel Rumpel and Matt Haywood and things like that. So, yeah, a really nice card. I actually do like this. If you were trying to, or thinking about making like a little... Uh, collection of them you could have this stuck in the middle and all the different cards around which would be quite nice so that's the first set let me just count how many cards we've got one two three four five so there's six cards in each pack which is quite nice six cards in each pack i'll just move the uh empty pack over there and there's 20 packs to collect so let's do the second and last pack shall we of the glasgow clan series one and we start with zach fitzgerald the new captain of the glasgow clan uh, the defenseman, the American-born, he, of course, spent many a year with the Sheffield Steelers. He decided to move over to uh, to uh, Glasgow at the start of the season. So he had 14 points in 16-17 and only 8 points in 17-18, the 13th card of the pack. A very nice card indeed, I would say. Uh, then we have Matt Hayward, uh, British-born Matt Hayward. He is on the list as well. Uh, Glasgow clan, 16 points, then 14 points, which is quite nice for him, not too shabby. We then have Gary Russell, the goaltender for the Glasgow clan, a Brit, which is very nice. He played with the clan for the past two seasons. Three plus goals against average and an under 900 save percentage. So not the best there, but I mean, he could be a lot worse in the league, that's for sure. He only played four games last season anyway. So uh, then we have Brendan Connolly here as well. Uh, Brendan Connolly, he played with uh, Runsteg in 16-17 and the Giants in 17-18. Yeah, I was right. Sometimes I'm not sure if I get these right. I know you YouTube comments all immediately correct me if I get it wrong, so don't worry. Uh, 73 points in 53 games for the Belfast Giants. 154 penalty minutes. Damn. Uh, Scott Tansky. Scott Tansky is quite nice. Tansky, that's an interesting name. Uh, he is uh, Canadian-born. Just had to check that again. 19 points in 16-17 with the Stingrays and 9 points with the Royals. In 17-18, uh, he shoots right. He's a center, six foot exactly. And then last but certainly not least, we have another rare card, Bruce Richardson, with his 10-11 season with the Brayhead clan. Played with the Nottingham Panthers in 9-10, then played with the clan in 10-11. He is a uh, forward, I should say, a center. It's right there. I don't know why I turned it over to have another look. It's literally right there. Uh, he had 55 points in 54 games with the Glasgow clan. Uh, which is pretty good. Over a point per game. You can't really complain about that, can you? So Bruce Richardson, he is the last player with that Glasgow clan set of cards. So let's now move over to the Nottingham Panthers Series 2 set, shall we? The Nottingham Panthers are, of course, my favourite team in the Elite Ice Hockey League and is one of the league's oldest and most successful teams in British hockey history. They're also the team that I watched my first live hockey game with when I was 18 years old for my 18th birthday. I'm 22 now. Damn, I feel old. So let's take a look at these, shall we? We've got three packs of these to open up. And we start with Rich Chernamaz. Oh, for those of you who are unaware that what's been going on, Rich Chernamaz joined the Nottingham Panthers at the beginning of the 1819 season as the new head coach for the team. He has since left the organization as he was relieved of his coaching duties because the Panthers weren't quite doing very well under his leadership. So Rick Chernamaz, there he is, coach, Nottingham Panthers, season 1819. And I really do like the backs of these cards, actually. Sure, they don't have the stats on compared to the uh, Series 1 cards of the Glasgow clan just here or of the uh, Nottingham Panthers cards. But I, I do quite like the backs of the cards. It's more focused on the player itself. You, of course, got the space to have them signed. And the logo for blindside trading cards is a lot bigger as well, which I think is nice. I think it's a lovely logo. Then we have John Roll of the Nottingham Panthers. Roll? Rolt? Someone will tell me in the in the comments. 18-19 uh, season forward for the Nottingham Panthers, number 26. And a nice little photo there of him. Right wing slash centre. I love how they're called the Signature Series. Don't know if you guys noticed that. The Signature Series. Uh, so John Roll, there you go. Then Mark Hurtabees. 18-19 season with the Nottingham Panthers on the roster as well. Then you can have a look at him there. There he is, Mark Hurtabees. Uh, he's got a pretty hard slap shot. That's probably the biggest thing I know about him. He can score a good goal off a one-timer from the point. Uh, that's why Panthers fans love him. Then we have Tyler Biggs, who unfortunately isn't part of the um, Panthers organization anymore. He left the team earlier in the season, I believe, due to family uh, issues or, or a family situation. And he decided to leave the team. And he wasn't, he wasn't producing as much as he could have done for the team either, which was a shame. 
But, you know, these things happen. It's a nice card of Tyler Biggs as well, though. He's, of course, played plenty of hockey in North America. I do like these these uh, photos. It would be nice if we could get these photos and then a little bit of the stats here, like in terms of their actual season stats. But I do like... I, I, I think they're nice. I think, it's, I think it's a nice change from the Glasgow clan ones, you know. Then we have Jalen Rissling of the Nottingham Panthers. Uh, he's six foot four. He is a defenseman or left winger. That's an interesting combination. Uh, the, with the Elite Ice Hockey League, compared to most other leagues, you do see a lot of defensemen playing forward or forwards playing defense. Then again, the New York Rangers have Brendan Smith playing fourth line right wing at the moment. So, you know, anything can happen in hockey, ladies and gents. So, Jane and Rissling. And then the new rookie cards for the Nottingham Panthers, which I think is a really nice addition. This is the uh, change compared to the season, the series one cards, I believe. Having the rookie card sitting here as well. Joseph Hazeldine. He plays defense, apparently. Um, I, th I thought he was a forward. I thought he was a forward. I thought Josh Tetlow played defense. Maybe I'm wrong. I probably am. Um, but yeah, Joseph Hazeldine. It's a very nice card. I do like the fact that they're different to the actual cards. I mean, Hazeldine hasn't played a huge amount of time um, with the Panthers organization because he's still trying to find a spot. And he has other competitions that he can take part in, like under-20 tournaments, under-18 tournaments, etc., etc., etc. So hopefully he manages to find a way to the roster soon. But he is still a Nottingham Panthers rookie, which is very nice. So that's the first pack of Nottingham Panthers Series 2. Let's move on to the next one, shall we, folks? The middle pack of this set. I, I will just tell you now, I didn't get any signed players. Uh, hopefully I'm going to get a set of signed players from uh, Blindside uh, at some point, And they'll, I'll hopefully do a video on them. But we'll start this second pack with Dylan Olsen. Yes, the defenseman for the Nottingham Panthers. Number six, former Chicago Blackhawks first round pick in 2009, I believe. Because he was part of my draft day disaster, if I'm not mistaken. Dylan Olsen, there you go. Let's turn it over. There he is, Dylan Olsen. Lovely. I mean, the, the focus is better down here. I wanted to try and put it on autofocus. But every time I, I tested it, it just would be blurry the whole way. So it's like the better... The closer it is to the table, the better it is. I'm, I'm still learning here, folks. It's a new setup to my usual pack-looking stuff. Hopefully, it looks a little bit nicer. Then we have Robert Lakovic. Yes, of course. Long-time Nottingham Panther. Uh, he's looking at the 18-19 Season 2 Brit. I don't believe the Series 2 set has any uh, vintage or, like, uh, classic Panthers players. Uh, I might be mistaken as we go along. But uh, we have a couple of other packs uh, from the Panthers that we might be able to see some of them in. So, Robert Lakovic. There you go. There he is, beautiful. We move on to the former captain of the team, Stevie Lee. Uh, he's still on the team. He had his uh, testimonial um, game this season at the National Ice Centre, I believe. Uh, testimonial games, uh, I didn't know about these until like last season. Uh, it's when they've played 10 years in the Elite Ice Hockey League. You get a testimonial match, which is basically a big charity game. You invite former teammates, former players on the roster uh, or players that you've played against. And you just have a nice little, uh, it's kind of like an all-star game, you know, like... Uh, not really much contact, just doing it for the fun of it. So why not? Stevie Lee got his testimonial. There you go. He also has a card in this set. Then we have Tyler Van Cleef, who is the uh, Canadian Brit. So he's a dual nationality. However, he's no longer with the Panthers either. He was only here for a short stint as the Panthers were dealing with a lot of injuries in their lineup. So he got a short-term one-month contract, I believe. And once that contract ended, he was on the move. So there's Tyler Van Cleef. Luke Pithar, one of my favourite players, or, or one of my more preferred players, on the uh, Panthers roster. He joined the team halfway through the season. During the 17-18 uh, season. And he had a really good year with the Nottingham Panthers. And he's continued to be a pretty solid player for the Panthers roster. So Luke Pitha. There you go. Lovely jubbly. And last but not least. Mike Garnett. They say Michael Garnett. He likes to be called Mike Garnett I believe. Mike Garnett. There you go. Beautiful. There he is. I, I love how he's like further down than the rest of the players. Have you noticed that? It's like, it's like they've cut off his legs or something and made him take a picture. That is quite funny, actually. Yeah, there's so much more space up here compared to the rest of the cards in the series. I've only just noticed that, and that's really quite amusing. So Mike Garnett, he... You never know what goaltender you're going to get with Mike Garnett. You, like, he played incredibly well for the Champions Hockey League for the Panthers last year. He had a fantastic run for them there, but then he struggled down the stretch. Um, so very interesting. So that's the uh, second pack of Series 2. Let's move on to the final pack of Series 2. Then we have a couple more packs to show you. So we'll get through them as well. So, how many cards are in this pack? 20 cards to collect in this pack as well and sign. And they're all new rookie cards. So yeah, the rookie cards are the big pull in this. We start with Brett Pellini. His uh, brother, Brendan Pellini, currently playing for the Chicago Blackhawks of the NHL. But Brett Pellini, currently playing with the Nottingham Panthers, joined the team last season. 
and he's he's been pretty good. He's, he's had a bit of a slow year this year, but he's a pretty solid player. He knows exactly what he's doing, and he was a, G, a member of the Team GB side, a GB international, when they won that gold medal um, last year uh, at the IAHF World Championships 1A, so that was awesome. So Brett Pelini, there you go, right winger. I believe he also plays centre as well, but don't quote me on that. Then we have Tim Billingsley. There he is, the uh, the defender, the defenseman. Uh, Tim Billingsley. He's been on the Panthers roster for a while. I, I keep putting it up here because I think it's on the on the uh, camera, but it's actually I need to put it further down here. I'm learning as we go along, folks. It's a learning experience. Baby steps, people. So Tim Billingsley. There you go. Lovely jubbly. Then a rookie card, Josh Tetlow, the 12 foot defenseman, young player for the Nottingham Panthers. He's basically a, a running joke of how tall he is in the Nottingham Panthers organization. So that's a really nice card for Josh Tetlow. Uh, the league leading scorer at the time of this recording, Mr. Alex Guptill. He scored plenty of goals for the Nottingham Panthers this season. And there he is there, the left slash right winger, six foot three, number 27. I believe he's got at least 30 goals this season, or he's very close to 30. I've uh, got another Tyler Van Cleef and another Luke Pither. So, those are the Nottingham Panthers Series 2 cards. We've gone through five packs already. We've had the Clan cards. We've had the Panthers cards. Now, let's move on to some special packs of the Nottingham Panthers. The special packs that Blindside sent me. And they are these two. We have the 1819 preseason packs, which have 23 unique cards. And this is the pack that I think has more of the, like, classic or Nottingham Panthers legends in them. So, they're really nice. And then we also have the Christmas Classic Nottingham Panthers cards. The Christmas Classic Collection one-off pack containing six special cards. Now, the Christmas Classic is a game held every year as part of the EIHL calendar on Boxing Day. Uh, Boxing Day is the day after Christmas, if you don't actually know what that is. Uh, and the game takes place between the Nottingham Panthers and their bitter rival, the Sheffield Steelers. Every year, the Panthers wear a, uh, a unique Christmas design, a, a, a special Christmas jersey for the game, which is often designed by fans, which is pretty cool. Um, fans get to submit their designs as part of a competition, and the winner gets chosen, and they get their design turned into a jersey, which is pretty cool. So Christmas Classic is always a good one to watch. Uh, the Steelers won it last time. But let's take a look at the preseason cards, shall we, first? We'll leave the Christmas Classic ones there. Let's take a look at the preseason cards. So there's going to be players from all over the uh, all over the time, I believe. So we start with Matt Carter. Now I know for sure that Matt Carter isn't on the roster at the moment, but it will show us, I'm sure. So uh, he played with Gap in 15-16, the French league, I believe, and then he played with the Panthers in 16-17. So a couple of years ago now. Wow, to, to think that the 16-17 season is now two seasons ago. Time just flies, doesn't it, folks? He had 26 points in 49 games. Six foot two, left winger. Then we have Sam Gospel, the backup goaltender for the Panthers for as long as I can remember. Sam Gospel. He uh, keeps bouncing between the NIHL, which is the league below our elite league, and the Nottingham Panthers as the backup. He gets to start a few games here and there. Like, for example, in 17-18, he started in four games. Uh, he's a 5 foot 10 goaltender. He's very good in the NIHL, hasn't quite proven himself in the Elite League yet. Hopefully he finds the chance to actually get something done there, you know. Then we have Matthew Myers, who was uh, rewarded recently or was celebrated recently at the National Ice Centre. Um, I believe for uh, playing a thousand games or something like that. Uh, I'm not quite sure on that. But I don't think it was a thousand games. There was a big milestone that he hit that um, he was celebrated at the National Ice Centre during one of the Panthers' very big uh, live streams. They're free live streams on YouTube. The Saturday Night Showdown, I believe is what it called, um, what they called it. So centre, Matthew Myers. He's more of a, a bottom six player at this point in his career, but he's a very good one at that. He currently plays for the Cardiff Devils. He played for the Devils in 14-15 and then went back to the Panthers in 15-16. So uh, 28 points in 37 games with the Devils and then 29 points in 52 games. So Matthew Myers. Ah, then Jan Sove, the former NHL draft pick Jan Sove. Spent last season with the uh, Nottingham Panthers and had a pretty good year of it, actually. Uh, he had um, three points in 25 games with uh, Medvesak Zagreb in 16-17. Those of you who watch the podcast will know that's a very big running joke for us there. And he had 37 points in 54 games with the Nottingham Panthers. Uh, so that's not too bad in 17-18. Well done, Jan Sove. He's currently playing... In the, oh, I, I want to say the KHL, but I'm not quite sure that's exact. If anybody does know, do let me know. I think he may have had offers from the KHL. He might be back with Zagreb, I'm not quite sure. Luke Pitha. There's another one for Luke Pitha. Uh, this is his preseason edition card, though. So, yeah, he had 29 points in 22 games 
uh, for the Panthers last season. Over a point per game in his stint. Uh, he joined the team late in the season, of course. And yeah, that was really good, actually. And he played for the, I assume, the Brampton Beast. 44 points in 37 games for Pitha, the center. So this says he's center. And I think, I'm not sure if the other card said he was a center. I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. And last, oh, this is a nice one, David Clark. I'm a big fan of David Clark because at the time of his retirement at the end of last season, he was the highest scoring player in elite ice hockey league history. I love the fact that they've got the uh, retire the five at the top because uh, the Nottingham Panthers, of course, retired his jersey at the end of, or at the beginning of this season. And there's all of his stats with the Panthers since, well, from 13-14 to 09-10. And he was a pretty solid player. Every single year there, he was a po over a point per game. I mean, that just shows you the testament to the type of player that David Clark was. And I love how they've got a massive section for his signature. I would love a signed David Clark card. He, he was one of my favorite players last season. I, I joined the Elite Ice Hockey League and started following it consistently only recently, but I was a really big fan of David Clark and what he managed to achieve in the uh, Elite Ice Hockey League. So that's really awesome. A very nice card to end on. I'm very happy with that one. And then finally, let's take a look at the Christmas Classic card, shall we? You can see that I absolutely butchered trying to open this one, can't you? It, it was a tough one. So we start... Oh, this is quite nice. With a memorable moments, the 26th of December, 2018. Jim Payek, I assume that's how you pronounce it, Payek, it's P-A-E-K, um, uh, Peck, Payek, Jim Payek, that's what I'm going with, uh, drops the puck before the Christmas Classic, let's take a look at what this one has to say, so two-time Stanley Cup winner as a player, the first South Korean to play in the NHL for the Pittsburgh Penguins, LA Kings and Ottawa Senators, Jimmy Payak has a very special place in the hearts of Nottingham Panthers fans, as during his stint as a Panther, he quickly cemented his place as a legend in the black and gold. So he got to uh, drop the ceremonial puck at the uh, Christmas showdown this last year, which is quite nice. So he gets a nice memorable moment. That would be very nice. I would love if Blindside did a series of memorable moments from like from this season, from uh, all the seasons gone by. And from the beginning of the Elite League would be nice. Just loads of memorable moments like uh, the Cardiff Devils winning back-to-back -back championships. Uh, uh, the, uh, the Nottingham Panthers having their... Um, they win every single trophy in a year. Those would be really nice features, you know. Then we start with this pack with uh, Captain Guy Lapine. So the six cards in this pack are all the same for every single pack. I don't believe they are a, uh, sold anymore, but you can get a autographed version or you could get an autographed version on blindside trading cards as part of a competition. I think just before I started recording this, the competition had ended, but we have Guy Lapine. So uh, a respected enforcer during his first time with the Panthers in 2013, he made the switch back to North America with the Evansville Iceman that he then went on to establish himself in the AHL with the Binghamton Senators, making 161 appearances. In 2018, Lapine made the move back, to, uh, back across the Atlantic to take up the role of captain for the Nottingham Panthers. You probably can't read this that well because of the lighting that I've got here, but I'll read it out for you. See, I'm nice like that. Then we have Jalen Risling, or Jay I thought it was Jalen Risling, or is it Jalen Risling? I'm probably wrong, let's be honest. A 7th round Washington Capitals draft pick, Jaden captained the Calgary Hitmen in the WHL during his final season of juniors. He played 5 years in the WHL, featuring 273 times for the Hitmen. Well, that's a lot of games. He then played 6 years in the ECHL, playing 179 times. Before... For, uh, 179 times in total. It'd be nice if I could learn how to read, wouldn't it? Before making the move to the UK. That's a lovely stash he's got going on there. This wasn't during November, but it was shortly after. And he decided to keep it going. Why not? If you can grow a stash like that, why not? So this is Dylan Olsen. So drafted in the first round in 2009. I was correct by the Chicago Blackhawks. He made his debut in the 11-12 season, going on to make 29 games, including the postseason. After moving to the Florida Panthers, he went on to make a further 96 NHL appearances, scoring 22 points overall. He was signed to the Nottingham Panthers in 2018 by new coach and now former coach Rich Chernamaz. And I do like the little logos they have down here. I still like, like, they've got to feature their logo on there as much as this. I don't like it when it's really small on here. Some might, some might think it takes away from it. And I, I actually really like the, it's a nice logo. Let people see it. Mark Hurtabees. Hurtabees is no stranger to the EIHL, scoring 30 goals and 59 assists for a career best in 08-09 with the Edinburgh Capitals. A moment of silence for our fallen brother. Hurtabees went on to play across Europe, including top leagues in Finland, Sweden, Switzerland, Germany, and Austria, before making the switch back to the Elite League in 2018. Ah, not too bad. And last, but certainly not least, we have Michael Garnett, or Mike Garnett. Drafted in the third round by the Atlanta Thrashers in 2001, uh, 
a moment of silence for another fallen brother. Uh, Garnett went on to make 24 appearances in the NHL. He made the move to Russia in 2007 and went on to make 328 appearances in the KHL. Backstopping HK MVD, OHK Dynamo Moskva, Traktor Chelyabinsk, H HC Slovan Bratislava, and Medvesak Zagreb over a nine-year period. I'm actually really impressed that I managed to pronounce most of those names right. I didn't practice that at all. I literally just picked up that card and tried it. And you know what? I was really good. So well done me. So those are the six cards that you can get from the uh, Christmas Classic packs, which are all very nice, I would say. They're all very nice. And plenty of space to get those signatures in. So why not? And there you go. That was a look at some Elite Ice Hockey League trading cards. Once again, a huge thank you to Blindside Trading Cards for sending these my way. If you want to find out some more information about these or how you can get your hands on some of these sets, do go and follow Blindside Trading Cards at BS Trading Cards. They make some really good cards, as you can tell. I'm a huge fan, so if you're interested, go and check them out. But what do you think about these cards? Also, did you enjoy this type of pack opening video? Would you like to see more? I have a few packs that I bought from Dollarama, yeah, that place, when I was in Canada over the summer last year that contained some more lesser popular vintage NHL cards from over the years. So we could take a look at them if you're interested. Do let me know. But let me know your thoughts about these cards, any future pack opening episodes in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. A big thank you to Chris Gadsby, Kales Bro, Matt DeWild, Max Artis, and Nat Marlow, as well as a huge thank you to Ryan Todd for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.